Om Shanti. สวัสดีค่ะ uh, I'm Dr. a m a r c h i t g o r d u a from Bangkok, Thailand. หรือว่าเรียกว่า Dr. Karen ก็ได้ uh, I'm here to receive the International Women's Leadership Award from UNPKFC, and I would like to thank the United Nations for giving me this beautiful award, and I'm honored. And delighted to be a part of service and especially upliftment of women in a role of a leadership. I have served um, as a woman empowered by society and by my friends and by my community to serve ever since the tsunami days. So all the way back in 2004, I was. Um, Leading a group of people and doctors from America, who were serving through the United Sikhs, and we served in the tsunami-torn k r a b i Islands and Phuket in Thailand. And from that time on, there was no looking back. And uh, I was called on to serve in various world disasters, including the Philippines um, tornado and uh, Kashmir food relief, and. Uh, Any time that there was any uh, particular help needed in the world, I would be asked to join, and I'm always ready to serve. Currently, I'm helping slum children receive an education. So we are sending over 100 children daily to school in Thailand, and this is being supported by the community. Of course, I'm just the means, the instrument, to be. In between the children and the people who are ready to serve, so we send these children to school, and this came about because I visited and all the children were home, and I wondered why they were not at school and they had no means to go to school because transportation was lacking. So we provided the trucks or the transportation required to take the children to school every day, and so now in the schools they get food, they get milk. And they get clothes, and the parents are free. The poor parents who didn't have time to earn because the children were home, were home. Now they could earn, and so we also supported their earning by um, giving them a small allowance to start small businesses. So that whole slum in Prachar Uthit Zone One, we have been serving for almost, or maybe more than seven years, and this is ongoing, monthly and daily. And during COVID, we were able to provide, as required by them, food for the children and supplies as needed. Because during COVID, there was no work for anyone, so generous-hearted people still contributed, and so I was I was able to continue this service. I'm also a Sikh religious leader and a universal spiritual guide, which is my main work. I joined in many interreligious forums all over the world, and I've even given a talk on the climate change um, oh, held by the United Nations in Thailand many years ago as a Sikh representative. And uh, so, working for the environment, or for world change, or, or for changing ourselves in order to help our environment, is also something that uh, we at the Brahma Kumaris do. I am a universal spiritual guide, and thanks to the Brahma Kumaris Universal Spiritual University, that uh, I have um, been able to go beyond even uh, any particular religion, but to embrace all religions as one world family. So I do that. I try to unite the world as spirits. We are all souls and spirits of one world family. And the one supreme being, and that's the core of our own religion. Because even in Sikhism, we talk about ekunkar, means God is one. So today, I'm uh, representing the International uh, Leadership Women's Day, also as a spiritual and religious leader. And I thank you once again to the United Nations uh, representative and office here for choosing me in this role, and. Uh, I hope to continue serving the world and serving myself as I need to grow spiritually, and I'm also a representative of healing our earth in Thailand, 
where we do online and uh, uh, Zoom sessions to encourage people to be happy and to serve the earth in various ways. So all these services come my way and I'm happy to serve. So thank you once again for appreciating women's room, role in society and as a leader for women, I'm delighted to serve. Om Shanti Swadika. Thank you.